reading for um, the Taurus for the second quarter of the year 2017 and this 2018 I'm so sorry and this is going to be wonderful this is going to be positive um, the second quarter begin from April until June so this is positive this is good these are wonderful exciting um, times for you guys because a lot of business endeavor new business endeavor um, successful promotions um, your you know achievement your 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 moving forward you're making um, good progress in your life and this is going to be um, wonderful this is going to be um, extremely positive because what is happening is that um, the energy is the chariot for this quarter the general energy is a chariot and you guys have the energy of the Emperor and the energy of the Emperor is a positive energy because this is achievement this is building stability in your life this is moving you to um, you know something much better or doors are opening but you are making these movements and you are um, working in a positive positive way so this is um, going to be good there's a lot of um, new business um, you guys are going to start a lot of new business in this quarter a lot of new business um, for you guys the luckiest month in this quarter is going to be um, um, the month of May it's a lucky month for you guys because um, the general energy is the energy of the Emperor Empress and this is and this is good because you have the Emperor and the Empress so a lot of you are going to be having situation with your parents and a lot of you as parents is going to be dealing with situation with your kids the luckiest month is going to be the month of May for you guys okay so we are going to look at the squirtle because um, the energy of the chariot chariot with um, the energy of the Emperor is, is, is so good because it's a lot of achievement it's achievement um, promotion um, you moving forward exams are good for you Tauruses that sort of a thing um, you're ending up and you're moving forward in your life in a very very positive way new business opportunities um, new investments uh, new business partners will be coming in so let's look and see what you Taurus have um, as we look at the first month of May it's going to be a month where you need to connect with your um, intuition and guidance you need to connect with your intuition and guidance you need to listen to your own intuition over the the in the, the message from other people okay so um, April is going to be a month where um, to be successful or to bring a balance in your life that sort of a thing you are going to be realizing that you need to listen to your own intuition to make these successful change that are coming up for you it's going to be wonderful because the, the, the chariot with the Emperor the Emperor is um, movement is um, you're moving success is coming at you you're moving towards success you're making things happen for your yourself and a lot of new job openings but a, a lot of new business partner because it's all about you building your stability in your life so listen to your intuition in the month of um, um, April month of um, uh, May positive month the energy of your star comes up and it the general energy is the energy of the Empress so um, whatever your materialist needs is whatever did you were trying to manifest um, whatever you were trying to get for yourself whatever you were trying to balance out for yourself this is going to be happening for you and this is going to be happening in a very very positive way June is not looking that well because you have the energy of the hangman so it's as if some of you are waiting for something um, so we are going to look and examine what is June happening because this is a water sign so you have two waters you have uh, um, in April um, uh, uh, an intuition which you need to listen to your spirit guides and the in, in June you you are more connecting with yourself and looking and trying to find out and trying to balance out 
you're in a light and truth so let's look and see what is going to happen in the two last week of April which begins your birthday you Tauruses and the two first week of May and you have it's as if the five of ones conflicts um, yeah the five of swords you have conflicts okay so um, the two last week of the two at last week of April and the two first week of May there is going to be some conflicts but we're going to go deeper in your reading because the five of swords is always conflicts the five of swords is battle and it could be a battling with yourself as to what to do a battling on um, I'm listening to my intuition but what is the right message because sometimes um, there are other messages that come in through and you're listening to your intuition and try to figure out which is the right message what is it that I need to do and another five comes up so there's going to be a lot of change in the five of cups in reverse so whatever is happening um, the energy of the star and this is the beginning for your birthdays you Taurus you um, yeah Taurus is it's at the beginning for your birthday and you have the five of swords and you have the five of cups in the reverse form so um, there is um, actually no regret these fives fives are aligning you these are double numbers there is going to be a lot of transition there are double numbers there's going to be a lot of transition five of coins in the reverse well it is in the reverse and maybe that's why you're looking at yourself because you have the conflicts and then the five of coins in reverse okay so we're going to um, look and see what exactly is happening for you Tauruses so um, then we are going to look and see what is the outcome of this period and outcome of spirit is the three of cups and this is going to be good because you're ending and leaving something behind and you're um, happy and relaxing after um, whatever you have gone through and you're being happy and very la relaxed in whatever you have gone through and a, a hand in is um, coming there's an um, an end at the, you know the, there is an ending coming in because you're seeing this in view that I, an, an ending is coming in okay so we're gonna go deeper because um, these energies with the two five that is kind of bordering um, up because it's a pyramid in the reverse form um, that is quite because your outcomes is um, the three of cups and this is going to be good because what is happening um, and the three of one so you're leaving uh, something behind so you're happily moving forward and leaving something behind so this is the success the stability because this is what your period is going to come out to and this is what is telling you what has transpired and um, which way you are going okay your best month is going to be May which most of you will be having birthdays um, um, and, and, and is the beginning for 2018 for you guys so let's look and see what is it that is happening the two last week of April to the, the two first week um, you have your moving on, on a new journey you're you know moving on a new journey and this is going to be positive for you it is this is as if you need to leave the situation behind and move forward and find something to go forward um, and by looking at and and this is good because a lot of promotions will be coming in and um, and this new new journey that you're about to take is a positive journey it is a journey without an obstacle so take it as we look at um, the two last week in May and the two first week in June you have the energy of the king of cups so some of you will be moving towards the king of cups because whatever um, is happening um, this new start and this new journey is that um, you or some of you are going to be um, looking for business partner if this is in love we're going to see that later whatever this is with this king of cups uh, um, moving towards this king of cups and it is in a more positive way okay so 
whoever the king of cups is you're going to move towards this king of cups and it's going to be in a very positive way I need to find out um, what is really happening the two last week because the eye princess is here and the energy of the star and then you have the five of swords with conflict so we're going to see what is that conflicts all about and what the eye princess comes up again so you have uh, the number two and number five these are double energies that are coming up so obviously um, it's all about listening to your your intuition in the two last week in the beginning because whatever this conflicts is in the sword what is going on listen to your intuition because you are right do not let anyone else tell you what is going on because your intuition is right as towards what is going on we are going to look at seed two last week and the five of cups what exactly had transpired that in the month of June you are there looking at what has transpired there is going to be a transformation so there is going to be an ending there is going to be a transformation there is going to be an ending so um, whatever your wishes and dreams was you have no regret over whatever that is happening because you're looking and you're seeing the truth this transformation is coming in because you're looking and you are seeing the truth of a situation as what has transpired the outcomes is good because you have the energy of the three of cups with the outcome so whatever um, that um, is going to come out um, the outcomes is the three of cups okay so let's look and see what is happening with the um, Queen of Pentacles the Queen of Pentacles so you ladies and this is what I'm seeing here because um, with all the connection you ladies are going to come out on top whatever is happening whatever is transpiring around you um, you ladies um, over the age of 40 is going to come out on top there's going to be a lot of successful um, situation and a lot of sex uh, successful changes because what is happening and what is transpiring is that the changes of that are coming in it is um, positive changes and what I'm seeing here is that a lot of you are going to go on a new journey by listening to your intuition because that's how promotions you know um, comes up that's how you build a strong stability that's how you achieve things by listening to your own intuition you're going to go, you know this new journey that you're going to start out in in April is going to bring you um, to success you know you're looking you're thinking and you're listening to your own intuition and whatever the conflicts is that is going on you're listening to your own in 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 um, intuition and then um, you have to deal with the three of cups whatever the situation is you're going to be coming out on top because you're going to be um, it's a celebration the, queen, the, the three of cups is always a celebration that you have ended something okay so as we look forward going up you're going to be celebrating an ending an ending is coming into this situation of this five of um, Pentacles energy that's the hardship that you have been going through or whatever that you have been facing this is going to come to an end because as we look at what is transpiring by listening to your own intuition and guidance you're bringing an end to this this situation that is happening and what is transpiring is that you're going to be looking at um, this situation because you're going to find in your true self and you're in the light um, what is happening around in the, the month of May is that some of you are going to in the beginning of May going to decide to go on a new journey and this new journey um, as you listen to yourself you're going to come out on top because some of you are going to be connected with the king of cups and you're going to you're going to really come out on top because you're going to um, it's as if you're looking um, you're looking um, at a situation from and you know I want to know why are you in this angman position because some of you are in um, are going to be looking for your true in the light and you need to find out what is that all about um, 
and the Emperor comes up again this is so wonderful a new beginning and a lot of success is going to be coming up for you guys okay um, new beginning especially for um, the, the, the the people between the ages of um, 18 and 40 um, you know um, you're gonna have a situation that is coming in and it's gonna be positive because um, you ended by looking at yourself and connecting now you have the energy of the Emperor so a lot of success and stability is going to come in your life because here you have um, your energy vibration in the school till with the energy of the Emperor and then the energy of the Emperor comes in so if there it's going to be a lot of achievement a lot of new starts that are coming in for the people between the ages of 18 and 40 a lot of achievement a lot of new start that is going to be coming in for the people between the ages of 80 and 40 because we have the Emperor coming up again as extra message a new begin so this is going to um, this new beginning is in your work um, is in um, you know your career a new beginning in your career and this is for um, not only the men but also the women between the ages so um, if you're studying you're going to be very successful you're going to come out you're going to pass your exam with good um, 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 uh, recognition and that sort of a thing so it's going to be a very positive month um, but some of you are going to be connecting with the king of uh, cups which is in Pisces a cancer or a scorpion um, whatever it is happening whatever the um, because what I'm seeing is hard um, is as if you you guys have gone to um, you know um, financial situation where there was hardship and that sort of a thing or where you're going to judge financial situation but what I'm seeing here the extra message that is coming out is that it's going to be um, positive um, the latest the latest it's going to be a very very positive month for the latest especially the latest over 40 you are here and they are saying that you are spiritually guided from over because the eye princess is like double up your numbers um, for this quarter is going to be two um, your numbers for this quarter is going to be two five and four so two four and five is going to be your number for this quarter okay changes the energies of changes the activation of changes is coming in your color is going to be orange and baby blue orange and baby blue so um, your solar plex chakra needs to be healed so you're going to be healing your solar plex chakra you're going to be working with Archangel Metatron acts Archangel Metatron to place the orange coat of protection over you okay so changes is going to be coming in and it says the frequency of changes supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality both inwards and outwards so that we can appreciate the sweetness that release of the old and the birth of the new isn't this wonderful yes it is wonderful it is beautiful number 12 number three changes are coming in so it's going to be a period of changes a lot of success are going to be coming in this success is going to be for the women over 40 and um, the people between the ages of 18 and 30 if you're studying it's going to be wonderful because it's going to be positive new work is coming in for a lot of people a lot of successful situation will be coming in for you guys the energy that I have is Palmas of um, Atlant um, um, Palos at the um, and um, I use my sword of truth to lead the way I love when she comes up at 10 and she is known as the goddesses of truth and wisdom 
dealt you love that the goddesses of truth and wisdom and what a lot of people don't know is that um, women the, uh, the the energies that are coming in is the feminine energies of the women so the goddesses energies are going to be coming out and this is um, Palestine at ten is a goddess and she says I use my sword of truth to lead the way I use my sword of truth to lead the way and this is the goddesses of truth and wisdom she is the Lord of karma she is the Lord of karma for the fourth ray and holds the sword of truth to show humanity the way so I guess a lot of you who are on the fourth and fifth dimension will say okay so you are working with her yes I'm working with this goddesses so we're calling up on the goddesses of Palestine to come in um, the, the the fourth ray um, she is the Lord of Karma so this is what I've always said to people call upon the Lord of Karma to for divine intervention in the situation and acts for divine healing okay although she is where as her sword for the highest ideas and divine truth she prefers to use wisdom to settle whatever dispute is there so um, you know try and use wisdom to settle the dispute that you might come up with in this month your guidance is to follow your example or her example you know see the highest um, um, precision in all areas of conflicts draw on your abundancy of wisdom and tactic to communication with everyone concerned and use the sword of truth to point the divine way forward okay so you know whenever there's conflicts and that sort of a thing I always step back and take time to look at the situation and then um, um, and, and, and then I use the sword of truth I use information um, to to find out the truth of a situation okay and that's what, what and uh, how I basically um, you know uh, deal with certain things that happens and transpire in my life okay so a change of the reading and we're going to do the love reading so for a lot of people um, there is you know a lot of positive energies that are going to be coming in so let's um, look at the love energies for the ladies over 40 we're going to look at the love energies for the ladies over 40 love energies for the ladies over 40 okay for the ladies over 40 um, you are going to be working very hard on your relationship okay some of you are going to be working very hard on your relationships and some of you are going to realize that I need to work hard on my relationships and some of you are going to decide that I have work hard on my relationship and there is you have the three of ones that you uh, you know you have you have thought oh my god I've worked so hard on my relationship but it's as if you know it's not even working out so um, you know you're working hard and uh, some of you are going to reach the point that you're going to say you know I've been working so hard but it seems as if it doesn't really matter what I do in this relationship it's not really um, working out so you know I'm going to decide to either move forward and this is going to be with the people who are having relationship with the Gemini's or Cancer. Some are you people who are having relationship with the Gemini's and the Cancer. You are going to decide to move forward and leave this relationship because um, you are working so hard in this relationship, and it doesn't seem as if anything is really happening. Um, um, because um, you have uh, the Scorpio, the Scorpions. Um, it, it can be because um, this is the weirdest thing about the moon, the, the moon energies. It's that the moon can have to do with the, the Cancers. Some of you are going to end a relationship with the Cancers, and the moon is. Um, this the scorpion some of you are going to decide to end a relationship with a scorpion someone who's a scorpion 
and some of you are going to decide to end a relationship with the Gemini's because the energy of the moon um, have an effect so um, it depends because you 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 have thought you know I've been working so hard on this relationship and it's the scorpions or the cancers you're just going to decide to just leave that relationship behind so it's only for the people who are couple up with the um, the um, scorpion that you're going to decide to leave the relationship behind let's look what is happening for the men over 40 in their love relationships for the Taurus is men over 40 love relationships for the Taurus is okay so what is happening for you men is that whatever had happened where there was situation that was not a vibration vibrating on high energy vibration you're going to leave the situation behind the lies that have been told and that sort of a thing you're going to take some time to, to look at this um, you, you some of you are going to realize that you're in relationship that um, dishonesty seems to play a role in your relationship and you are going to look at it because there's a lot of lies and a lot of things that have been said and now you decided that you are going to leave whatever this relationship whoever this person is and you're going to leave it and it's it's it is um, by you leaving this because you have been thinking about it for quite some time and then you're going to decide to just leave this relationship behind and it's going to be the best thing that you will ever do okay so whatever that you men have been dealing with a relationship that you know see never seems to be going anywhere because there's no honesty there's a lot of lies and a lot of things and you have been thinking about it that you're going to just leave it behind it's best to leave it behind because you are going to find something that is much better um, once you decide to leave this relationship behind it's as if your soulmate or twin flame is going to come out and this is going to be um, better okay this is going to be better for you men so if you realize that you find yourself in a relationship that is um, you know a, a very dishonest and people not speaking the truth and that sort of a thing um, leave it behind and move forward okay we're going to look at a relationship for the people between the ages of 18 and 18 and um, 40 and see what is going to happen you guys are going to be coupling up with the the energy of the Pisces cancer or scorpion okay um, you guys are going to be coupling up with the Pisces cancer or scorpion and this is going to be good most of you are going to be coupling up um, with the Pisces cancer or scorpion and this is going to be good some of you will be uh, you men will be going for an older person you know and and and, and this is going to be good it, it is um, it's like divinely guided that you both connect with each other so this is going to be good and it's going to be a positive new beginning for you it's going to be an extremely positive new beginning okay if you weren't in a relationship some of you are going to be connecting with these water sign energy which is very good because water and um, water and earth it's always a good relationship so it's just the universe brought you two together and this is going to be good this is going to be wonderful this is going to be um, extremely positive and this is going to be a new start in relationship so as you guys um, choose to connect with the water sign people this is going to be a very positive quarters I want to say thank you for being here please like share these videos namaste until next time